I'm comparing Proxmox and QEMU today, two heavyweight players in virtualization. Stick around and you'll leave knowing exactly which one fits your setup. First up, Proxmox. It's an all-in-one virtualization platform built on Debian using KVM and LXC under the hood. Perfect for sysadmins, teams, or home lab owners who want to manage VMs, containers, storage, networking, backups, and clustering all through a slick web UI or powerful CLI. Proxmox just launched version 8.4 with some seriously cool upgrades. Live migration for NVIDIA vGPU-powered VMs? Yes, without downtime. Direct host to VM file sharing via Virtiofs and an open API for third-party backup tools. It bundles Ceph storage, firewall, HA clustering, and more. Budget-friendly, free, open source, with paid support starting around 115 per CPU. It's a solid, enterprise-grade toolbox that scales from a single box to a full cluster. Though, setup can get complex if you're diving into SDN or Ceph. Now, let's talk QEMU. It's the low-level engine behind Proxmox a powerful open source emulator and virtualizer. QEMU lets you emulate entire machines across x86, ARM, RISC-V, and more, even run foreign architecture binaries. Use it standalone for flexible emulation, live snapshots, device pass-through, or pair it with KVM for near-native VM performance. It's super modular and lightweight, ideal for developers, testers, or anyone building custom virtualization stacks. Just beware, QEMU is a command-line beast, no GUI, no management interface, so it demands more setup know-how and scripting if you want to automate or scale. So, what's the difference? Proxmox gives you a polished, integrated data center in a box. Web UI, clustering, backup, networking, HA, great if you want something turnkey. QEMU, on the other hand, is the raw virtualization engine. Flexible, cross-platform, perfect for custom setups or embedded use. It's powerful, but you build the rest yourself. Here's the recommendation. Go with Proxmox if you're managing servers, containers, storage, and networks and want enterprise features without building everything from scratch. But if you're a tinkerer, developer, or need low-level control and cross-arch emulation, QEMU is the way to go.